If you've attended Music Fest through the years, you've likely seen the band The Red Elvises. The band with ties to both Russia and Ukraine is set to return to our area for a concert in Carbon County this weekend. 69 News reporter Chantel Calhoun spoke tonight with the lead singer who grew up in Ukraine to get his thoughts on what's happening now in his homeland. The nationally known music group, the Red Elvises, have been regulars on the Music Fest stage. I remember some old guy came up to me with he had a really long beard. He's like, hey, I used to come to your show with my dad when I was in high school. It's like, damn, how old are you? <laughs> the lead singer, Igor Yuzov, who grew up in Ukraine, says it's hard to concentrate on the music with the ongoing destruction in his homeland. I still can't believe it's happening because it just seems like it's like watching a horror movie. And I, it just seems like I wake up and, you know, it's not, nothing is happening. It just seems like it was just nightmare. Yuzov's group has both Russian and Ukrainian band members and said sometimes he feels stuck in the middle. Having grown up in the former Soviet Union, the lead singer still has family and friends in both countries and says he speaks with them regularly. I don't really like when somebody bombing my hometown, you know, no matter, I really associate with lots of my Russian friends too, and so lots of them also understand the situation. The band says they're doing their part to help raise money for the people of Ukraine and are preparing for their performance at Monk Chunk Opera House in Jim Thorpe, Carbon County this weekend in a region heavily populated by people of Ukrainian heritage. We're trying to make their life more fun and trying to forget about that insanity what's going on right now i think maybe for at least a couple hours they will think about good times and about dancing and celebrating chantal calhoun 69 news